Hey crew, okay so the first two clips you're watching is of two different Void SMGs. The second one is the Funnel Web, and as you can see, the first Void SMG takes the boss's health right under the A, and the Funnel Web leaves it above the T, so that's a pretty big difference in damage. And they both took 7 seconds to get through two mags. My role on the Funnel Web is Subsistence Frenzy, so technically the damage could be a little higher if I had Adrenaline Junkie there because it would go up to 33% damage boost for 4.5 seconds, but I would have to reproc the Adrenaline Junkie before I got through two mags, and I would need to have a grenade back, so that's asking for a lot, especially when unloading onto a higher health target like this boss here. That means you need to get the grenade back in 4.5 seconds, and that's just not happening if you're unloading a clip into a boss. Now our first Void SMG has a damage boost of 50%, so even if I had Adrenaline Junkie on the Funnel Web, I would still be doing, you know, 17% more damage, and that 50% damage boost lasts for 10 seconds before you have to reproc it. So it would take two procs of Adrenaline Junkie, right? 4.5 seconds and 4.5 seconds to even get close to the 10 seconds, right? And I'm doing 50% more damage instead of 33% more damage for the 10 seconds, which is just crazy. It also is much easier to get the second grenade that you need back in 10 seconds than it is in 4.5 seconds. And what's even better with our first SMG is that it is also void, so you can run with Volatile Flow, and it has a lot more range, and I mean a lot more than Funnel Web, which makes it that much better, especially for console players, because one big thing I get on a lot of my videos is that Funnel Web just doesn't feel that good on console. So I highly suggest you guys try this. Now don't get me wrong here, Funnel Web is still a great weapon and feels really good. So if you like Funnel Web more, still after trying this new combo out, then by all means use it. That's the joy of Destiny, right? We can all choose what our god role is and what feels better to each of us. So this new Void SMG that I think is better than Funnel Web is Shy Ur's Wrath. And it got an update to its perk pool with Witch Queen. Not anything crazy, just two perks. But man, the two perks are god tier, along with a new origin trait that is also so, so good. Now within the first column is Perpetual Emotion. This is a great perk, and I really like this perk on pretty much any weapon that I use, and it's really, really good in PvP. It also feels great in PvE, but that's not really what this build is built around. This first column can be anything. It can be Killing Wind, which is also a great perk, right? Grants 20 range, 50 mobility, 40 handling, and can stack multiple times, lasting for like 8 seconds. You could also go with Heating Up, uh, and also Perpetual Motion, like I said. But the second column here is what really changed. We got one extra perk added, and that is Golden Tricorn. Now this states, Final Blows with this weapon grants bonus damage. While this buff is active, Grenade or Melee kills of the same damage type greatly increase its damage and duration. So first off, the final blow with this weapon grants bonus damage. This is a 15% damage boost, so just when you're going around and killing enemies, you get a 15% damage boost that lasts 7 seconds. So basically, you have Frenzy on this weapon at all times. You just have to run around and kill things. But the second, the second stack, which is grenade or melee kills of the same damage type, greatly increase its damage and duration. So the second stack requires a matching element melee and grenade or grenade kill, but it increases the duration to 10 seconds, and it's a 50% damage increase. So way higher than Adrenaline Junkie, okay, 50%, and it only requi requires a grenade kill, just like Adrenaline Junkie, because we're always running around and we're always proccing the original Golden Tricorn, the 15% damage boost, because we're always killing people with it. So then we throw our grenade, and it instantly procs Golden Tricorn times two, and it instantly goes to 10 seconds. You have that 50% damage boost for 10 seconds. As soon as that 10 seconds are up, you get another kill with your void weapon, just like normal, like your normal gameplay, throw a grenade like normal, boom, 50% damage increase all the time. So it's literally like you have a 50% damage increase 24 seven on this weapon, and it's very easy to proc. Now, the next thing is this is a trials weapon. So we also have Alacrity, a basic origin trait on this weapon. Gain increased reload, stability, aim assist, and range when you are the last living member of your fire team or running solo. Guys, a lot of times you're running solo. You're doing a lot of content solo. Most people play Destiny 2 solo. So this is going to be a perk that's always active when you're running, you know, Master or Legend Lost Sectors or you're just grinding out, uh, you know, frames, doing whatever you're doing in the game. But regardless, even if you didn't have this origin trait, 
you still have golden tricorn that is in my you know my personal opinion that much better than adrenaline junkie by far and i like the range on shyurda's wrath that much more than the range on funnel web it is so much easier to map targets with this weapon because you literally are going between like 25 and 30 meters with this weapon if you get the right rolls on it which is absolutely crazy now the last thing i want to talk about is your grenades with Void 3.0 and how all this works, right, Sh Shariah's Wrath is going to work with Volatile Flow. It's going to work, you know, proccing that extra explosion damage. It's going to work with Void Subclasses, all that good stuff. But on top of that is Golden Tricorn times 2 lasts for 10 seconds. It is very, very easy to get a grenade on all classes within 10 seconds. There is so much different build combinations you can do with this to always have Golden Tricorn times 2 up that it just works. I am running around here with uh, Nezarak Sin on my helmet, and as you can see on the left-hand side, I have so many different buffs going at once. I have Devour, Golden Tricorn, Volatile Rounds, Abyssal Extractor, more and more just different things adding to all my ability recharge rate, adding to my damage on my weapon, and let's not forget Font of Might. Now you can stack Font of Might on this thing too, picking up those Void Wells with increased time dilation too. On top of that, right, so your Font of, Ma uh, Fa Font of Might is lasting 15 seconds long so you're getting that damage boost from font of might you're getting the damage boost lasting 10 seconds from golden tricorn you're getting volatile rounds for 17 seconds like there is so much going on with this that it's it feels so good to use this so i hope you guys try this out you can get this weapon over in trials of osiris you have to unlock it right and once you have it unlocked you can also target farm it so you can use your engrams over at the saint 14 in the tower and you can target farm Shyrotha's Wrath, which is another great thing about this. You can't target farm Funnel Web anymore. There was a time where people could do it for a couple days before they patched it, but no more can you do it. Now you can just farm Shyrotha's Wrath yourself and go for this roll. I did about nine trials engrams on Shyrotha's Wrath to get a drop with Golden Tricorn. I still want a better one in my first column, a better perk than Dynamic Sway, but I really just wanted Golden Tricorn and I got it. So I highly recommend you guys farm this out. Um, make sure you have it unlocked in your pool. And when you have it unlocked in the pool, on the second page over at Saint 14, it'll be available for you guys to just turn in your engrams. It costs some materials and you get it. And you can just get a random roll every time with it. And this is also not even the adept version. We can get the adept version of this weapon to drop with Golden Tricorn, with Alacrity, right? The origin trait and just go from there. So there's a lot of different things that can make this build really, really good and this weapon really, really good. So I hope you guys try it out. I hope you guys found this video helpful. There'll be a couple uh, build videos up on screen here at the end. If you haven't given them a watch, go give them a watch and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.